Hey everyone, welcome back for our third day of VBS. I hope everyone's day is off to a good start, or at least a better start than mine. I'm absolutely exhausted today after Johnny's party last night. I could barely roll out of bed this morning. I mean, look at me. I got up so late I didn't even have time to comb my fur. Mmm. I see Johnny isn't here yet. He must have gotten a late start too. I guess we better call him. If I recall correctly, he wants us to call him by singing his song. I don't know about that. <clears throat> what do you think, kids? Should we do that? You want to sing the song? Okay, let's do it. So on the count of three, let's sing it loud, just in case he's still sleeping. One, two, three. My name is Johnny Johnson. I come from Wisconsin. I work at a lumber yard there. And what's your name? I guess he's not here yet. My name is Johnny Johnson. Hey, Big White. Oh, Johnny. Hey, everybody out there. Hey, thanks for singing my song. And you know, I'd, I'd normally love it if you just kept on singing and kept on going, but uh -huh, I'm just really uh -huh. not feeling it today. You're not feel? What's wrong, Johnny? Tired after the big party last night? <laughs> Tired after a party? <laughs> no, not me. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, no, it takes more than a party to wear this lumberjack down. I... I'm just feeling down. Hmm. I just... Just because, you know... Just some tired, huh? Yeah. Worse than that? It's something why... Yeah, it's definitely something worse than that. So, why are you upset? Did something happen? You bet something happened, <sighs> Big White. Mm-hmm. You know my neighbor Pete? You know, my next door neighbor who, yeah. you know, he's always been a good guy. I always thought he was a good guy, but I found out last night he's not a good guy. Well, of course I remember Pete. And he's lived next door to you for a few years now, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. And he did something awful. Something downright awful. awful and hurtful awful? and unbelievable, Big hmm. White. Well, what, what, what? Tell me what happened. Well, you know my collection of snow globes? Yeah. That I've been collecting my whole life. Mm -hmm. Well, Pete came over and he broke the best snow globe I had in the whole collection. It's my oh, favorite no. one. It's my, my snow globe from Wisconsin. Not that one. Yeah, and it broke into a million oh, pieces. Oh, Johnny, Johnny, I'm sorry. I know how much you love that snow globe, but it does sound like it was an accident. I don't think Pete meant to break it. I don't know, Big White, because... You know what Pete said after he broke my snow globe? It no. was the meanest thing anyone could ever say. Pete said, and I'm quoting him right now, Pete said, it was an ugly snow globe anyway. Oh my Can God. you believe that? Oh, that's <sighs> ridiculous. Who says that? Who, who breaks something and then insults a person not just apologize? Oh dear, that, that really does sound harsh, but you know, I don't think Pete meant to hurt your feelings. Maybe he didn't realize how important that snow globe was to you. Whatever. I don't know why he would say something like that. I don't really care. Hmm. I just know that it was mean and it was wrong and I am angry. You know, I don't want anything to do with that Pete anymore. As far hmm. as I'm concerned, Pete is no longer my friend, and I'm not talking to him, and I'm certain that I'd have him over my house again, and that's that. End of discussion, oh, Big Johnny, White. Johnny, I understand why you're upset. I really do. Pete hurt your feelings, and that's not okay. But yeah. before you stop talking with Pete, I want you to think about one important question. What's that? What have we been talking about all week? Loving your neighbor. But what about it when your neighbor does something so bad? I mean, loving your neighbors isn't so hard when your neighbor's nice. Mm hmm But what do you do if your neighbor's a jerk? You know, does God really expect me to, to love people that are unkind to me? Well, yes. 
God does want us to love our neighbors, all of them, even when they aren't nice to us. In fact, Jesus did this, this very thing when he was here on earth. No way. Yes way, it's true. Jesus loved all kinds of people, even people who did bad things, even people who did things that hurt Jesus and his friends and followers. I bet you have another Bible story about this, don't you, Big White? Well, of course. Of course, and let's hear it now. Another time for Pastor Carolyn and Pastor Brad to tell us a story. I see you. Well, good morning again, boys and girls. Welcome to day three of Vacation Bible School as we're learning all about our neighbors. Today's theme is Neighbors Forgive. And there's a great story in the Bible about Jesus forgiving. And it's the story of Zacchaeus. Now, Zacchaeus... Ooh. Yeah, see, Zacchaeus was not a great guy. Zacchaeus was a tax collector. So anytime I say Zacchaeus... Pest Caroline is going to go boo, boo. right? And, and so Zacchaeus, boo. not a great guy. No one liked Zacchaeus because boo. Zacchaeus boo. was a tax collector. And Zacchaeus, boo. he was unfair when he collected taxes from people. He would take what the government wanted and then he'd put a little extra coin in his pocket. So Zacchaeus boo. was not a great guy. Well, Zacchaeus had Boo! heard of this fellow Jesus, and there was going to be this big parade because Jesus was coming into town, and Zacchaeus was Boo! bound and determined to see Jesus. And as you can imagine, someone who uh, is not great with people and steals their money, he was short in stature, so he was not a very tall person, so he couldn't see beyond, over the big crowds. And he did all he could to get through the crowds, and Zacchaeus finally Boo! climbed up in a tree. And from up in that tree, he could see everything. And so sure enough, Jesus comes in. Jesus is walking by. He walks by, and Zacchaeus is all Woo! excited. Jesus looks up and says, hey, Zacchaeus, come on down. Woo! I'd like to have dinner at your house. Well, you can imagine how shocked Zacchaeus Woo! was. Zacchaeus says, okay, come on, Jesus, let's go. So they do their thing. They walk over, walk over. Now they're at Zacchaeus' house. Woo! And they're having a meal together. And... When the meal is over, Jesus says to Zacchaeus, he says, Zacchaeus, I'm so glad that you came down and that uh, we had this chance to have uh, dinner in your home. This is really important to me. And I know that you've been getting a lot of booze because of all that you've done, but I'm going to tell you what, I forgive you for all the bad things you've been doing to my people, you know, stealing their money and all that. And Zacchaeus Yay. was so excited that Jesus forgave him. He says, you know what, Jesus? This has been like the best day of my life. And so I am going to give back all the money that I stole from all the people over all these years. And not only that, I'm going to give away half of all I own to charities so that all people can uh, benefit the way I have benefited from being a tax collector. And Jesus says, you know what, man? That's amazing. That is just so great that you'll do that. I'm so thankful, Zacchaeus. And someday again, maybe we can have dinner. Yay. Yay. So remember, boys and girls, forgiveness turns our boos into our yays for those people who are forgiven and also for the people who forgive. Neighbors, right. forgive. Amen to that. Bye-bye. Goodbye, boys and girls. Thank you. Oh, another good story, Big White. Man, I like that one a lot. But Jesus is, you know, Jesus. I'm, I'm just a normal guy, Big White, a regular, everyday Johnny. And, you know, how could I possibly be as loving and forgiving as Jesus? Well, it's possible, Johnny. It might take a lot of time, and it certainly won't be easy, but it can be done. Even regular people can forgive each other. Want to see an example? Yes, I do. Well, here you go. Maybe this will help. Oh, I heard you just moved into the neighborhood. Yep, I did. I moved from Illinois. Nice. I heard you have seven PhDs. Very impressive. Mm -hmm. I myself happen to have eight, but <laughs> not to brag. What do you, what do you do? Oh, sorry. Give me a second. 
Hello? Hello? Oh, yeah, the super cool party. That's mime themed. Yes, mimes. You know the guys who go. Oh, wait, you can't see that. You know the guys who. Uh, you know, I can't explain it. They're the ones who don't talk, and they pretend to be a little bot. Yeah, yeah, you know the guys, you know the guys. And they always wear, like, black stripes and stuff. So, yeah, I got this, like, 35 layer cake. 35, I know it sounds like a lot, but really it's nothing, because half of it is mimed. You got this, this normal cake, and then the mimes pretend that there's more layers of cake. It's quite cool. And then, you get this tiny little cake, right? And then a mime pops out. Like, I, it's gonna blow everyone's mind, and we're gonna have mime-themed slip and slides, where there's just invisible ramps that you'll hit. It's gonna be crazy stuff. And then there's gonna be, like, a mime-themed bounce house. So basically, it's just gonna be a bunch of people bouncing on nothing, because there's just mimes. And... Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. The weather is nice. Yup. Yup. I gotta let you go. Bye. What was all that about? Ah, uh, nothing in particular. Oh. Okay. It's just, it's just something different from you're not invited. Have a nice day. Hello, my new neighbor. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry for not inviting you to my mime themed party. As of today, it's tomorrow, and I was wondering if you'd like to go. It was, it was me not to invite you, I'm sorry. It's okay, and yeah, I'd love to go. Okay, great. Well, there are seven extra mime, co mime costumes, so come on, let's start practicing. Okay, let's go! So, Johnny, did that help? Of course it did. I think I get it now. What the Zacchaeus story tells us is that forgiving isn't easy, mm -hmm. right? That, that it, but it's still so important. And, yep, and absolutely. Forgiving others who hurt us is just another way to show love to our neighbors. Mm -hmm. when, when we forgive, we make the world a friendlier, better place. And, and we feel better and the other person feels better, right? Yeah, yeah, that's part of it, but you're still missing one important point. And that is when we forgive, we're following God's example. Sure. See, he's show, constantly showing us his love by forgiving us for the big and small mistakes we make each and every day. God sent Jesus who died on a cross so all our mistakes could be forgiven forever. When we forgive, we live and love like God tells us to. Wow, I never thought of it that way. Mm -hmm. And now that you've explained it, I've got to run. Already? What's the hurry? I, I need to go home. I, I need a little time. I need to think and pray just for a little while. And, and I'm going to ask God to help me to forgive Pete. Ooh. And then great. when I'm ready, then I'm going to go over and I'm going to talk to Pete. And mm -hmm. I'm going to tell him that everything is okay and that I'm not mad anymore. Johnny, I'm so glad to hear this. It won't be easy to forgive Pete, but you'll feel so much better when you do. Forgiving your neighbors doesn't just show love, it also brings peace to you and your neighbor. Yeah, and a, a bit of peace sure sounds good right about now. Thanks for the good talk, Big White. You're sure a great friend. Yep, and I'll no see problem. you later, okay? Oh, see you, Johnny. I've got to run myself, so let's turn things over to the music crew. See you, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you tomorrow. That one went well.